What's going on, everybody? This is your host, Mike, from Everyone Wants to Be Like Mike, bringing you another episode presented to you by Notorious Pulls Radio, everyone. Today, I want to talk about the new Jerry West Clutch Player of the Year Award and how surprising it is that, listen, it's not DeRozan that's in the running for it. It's not Luca. It's not Steph Curry. It's not Shea. And it's not Durant. But it is De'Aaron Fox, everyone. I'll say that again. It is De'Aaron Fox, everyone. And you know what? Let me tell you something. You guys might be surprised at this, but after I tell you this, you won't be anymore. All right? He's building quite a serious case, all right, for him to getting this award. The guy has been absolutely phenomenal this year. He's been, he can literally be considered, it, this could be considered, I guess, a breakout season for, for Fox, okay? He has averaged 24.1 points. 4.3 rebounds, 6.1 assists, a steal, and 1.6 threes a game on an astonishing 50.4% from the field for a guard, guys. I want you to get this through your head. For a guard, he is shooting over 50% from field goal. That is absolutely phenomenal, okay? In the last month, he has averaged 25.2 points, 3.5 rebounds, 6.5 assists, 1.1 steals, and 1.3s a game, shooting yet again on an astonishing almost 51% for the field for a guard. Guys, get this through your head. A guard shooting over 50% for a whole month, for a season. That is absolutely incredible. Incredible. Okay? He also leads the league in total clutch baskets at 40-plus while shooting, okay, at 61.5% when it comes down to these clutch shots. All right, he has made 11 shots to take the lead in the final two minutes of a game, which is tied for the second most out of any player in the NBA. And he has made seven shots to either tie or take the lead in the final 30 seconds in the game, which is also tied for the second most of any player in the NBA. Okay, during the Kings games that call for clutch situations, all right. The Kings are winning due to Fox and his incredible ability to get the ball in the basket, all right? Fox is also outscoring everyone in the league except Joel Embiid in points per 100 possessions in very high leveraged and difficult situations. That is not easy to do. We're not talking about a center who could literally box everybody out and start banking in those shots. No, we're talking about a small guard, all right? Get that through your head. And clearly... You can see the Kings trust him because they have entrusted him with 28% of their clutch field goal attempts, which is the third most in their league behind Jalen Brown and obviously LeBron James. Okay, the ball goes to Fox simply because he's the one of the most efficient players when it comes to having the game on the line. And therefore, when it's clutch time, he has become the hero of their of the Kings and his team, and he has led them to a third seed in the west okay he's absolutely phenomenal all right and all of these facts should be taken into account when we are talking about who deserves the jerry west clutch of the year award all right i don't know if you guys totally agree with me if you don't please comment please tell me what you think what your opinion is and maybe who else should be in the running for that clutch of the year award all right guys once again thank you for watching we love you Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow all our all our social media outlets. We love you. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good day.